let me introduce you to the brand new compact crossover from Nissan, the Duke. The Duke comes in three uh, trim options, the Vizier, the Ascenta and the Tecna, with nine available exterior colours and two available colour designs on the interior. The different engine capacities you can have are a 1.6 petrol, a 1.5 diesel, uh, a 1.6 petrol with a CVT automatic and uh, a 1.6 direct injection gasoline turbo which comes as a six speed gearbox. This particular model that I'll show you today is the Ascenta in blade silver, the grey colour design inside and it's got an optional um, premium upgrade pack on the, um, on the outside and the interior as well which I'll point out some of the features of that to you. If I first of all draw your attention to the front of the vehicle, you'll notice these enlarged headlights. These headlights are designed straight from 1980 rally cars. And the second thing you'll notice is the high bonnet line. This high bonnet line gives the Duke a real huge road presence, adding to the uh, a statement on the road. If we move around to the side of the vehicle, first thing you'll notice is the Duke's alloys. The alloys come as standard on all Duke models, starting from the Vizio all the way up to the Tecna, and they're housed in uh, these enlarged flared wheel arches. These wheel arches come nearly as high as the bonnet line, adding to its chunky prowess on the road. Coming down the side of the Duke, you'll notice the sloping uh, roof line of the Duke. That's inspired straight from the Nissan GTR, which adds to the sporting pedigree. And alongside was the hidden door handles in the window pillar, really adds to the sports coupe look of the vehicle. Moving around the back of the car, first thing you'll notice is these rear headlights. These rear headlights are designed straight from the Nissan 370Z and just made a little bit bigger to go on the back of the Duke. This again adds to the real sporting prowess of the Duke. If we take a look inside the boot, the first thing you'll notice is there's no visible parcel shelf as it's hidden neatly in the tailgate. This allows easy access into the boot whilst, maintain, whilst, whilst maintaining security against prying eyes. The boot has a very usable 295 litres of storage space just split into, split into a dual compartment model. First compartment being on the top here, and the second being on this storage shelf. You can store the shelf at the back for, e for easy access more uh, for an easy access to the, to the old load, or you can put delicate items into the space and have the shelf on top. For the days where the boot's just not big enough, the twin rear seats that split fold down for a flat loading bag. If we take a look in the interior of the car at the wheel, the Duke has all the essentials of a sporty hatch of today. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity, radio controls and cruise control, all operated from this multifunctional steering wheel. Uh, in this particular model, the Ascenta with the premium upgrade, you get the inbuilt satellite navigational system called Nissan Connect. And if you can see here, this is the all new to the Duke, it's the Nissan Dynamic Control System if you'd like me to demonstrate it for you. At the moment, we're in drive mode, and you can choose from three um, driving modes. Normal, economic driving mode, which turns the climate control to an economical setting and the engine to an econo uh, economical setting, or sport, which stiffens up the suspension slightly and makes the throttle more sensitive. Uh, you can access, once in eco mode, you can access drive information about your economy of your driving, drive information of the G-Force, and drive information in terms of how many miles, your average speed, and your drive time. You can also access setup of this system using this system here. You can then enter climate mode by pushing this button here, and as you can see, all the buttons change. Your air conditioning and your different modes of where the breeze is coming from are all operated from this console here. Also in the centre piece where the sat nav is, uh, it has a reverse camera option uh, with a camera on the uh, tailgate. Select reverse and as you can see it comes up so you can uh, reverse right up to your bonnet line to make sure you don't hit anything and get any nasty bumps on your bumper.